Benji and Alana invited me to come down to Tiano and do an internship uh, here at Field and New Life Church and attend revival school. Uh, so I didn't really have any plans and I felt like God was leading me there so I said yes even though it scared me. I hadn't moved away from Auckland before. I hadn't been living at home but I hadn't moved that far away before so I was pretty nervous. I I kind of tried to think of ways I could get out of it before actually coming down here because I, I was just scared and I was kind of worried that I would get down here and no one would like me or they'd think, you know, oops, why did we invite that one? Um, I was just really nervous about it. Um, but I couldn't ignore God who was calling me. I kind of felt like the whole time he was like, come on, come to Tiano, Sam. So I just did it. After so long being away from God, the, the prospect of getting closer to him, it just took over and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't walk away from it. Like This is my opportunity to grow closer to God and to learn more about him and who I was. So I just decided to do it even though I was totally terrified. So I drove down here a week after getting my restricted which is pretty crazy in itself. I drove down here and everyone was so lovely. Nobody, nobody thought I was weird. Nobody, you know, wondered why Benji and Alana had invited me. Everyone was just so welcoming and they just showed me what, what a church family should be like. Just really loving and supportive. Last year I was in a completely different space to where I am now. I was living a pretty lame life to be honest um just dealing with some really hard stuff uh, not even really dealing with it just kind of like living in some bad stuff I was in a bad relationship i was really distant from god i didn't i believed in god but i didn't have any relationship with him and i didn't think he wanted any relationship with me kind of saw him as this big distant judge in the sky who was looking down on me, you know, disapproving, kind of thinking, why did I create that one? Whoops, made a mistake there. That was kind of like my whole thinking around God, feeling like he was angry at me all the time and didn't want me and how could he ever provide for me because why would you want to provide for me? I just had a really low self-esteem didn't think I was worth anything and so let a lot of people treat me badly because I thought that was how I deserved to be treated. I didn't have any hope. I didn't really see a point in living, to be honest. Um, I just wanted to get out. I'd often dream about just getting a new life, being someone different because being me wasn't, wasn't any fun. Um, family staff wasn't good, relationships weren't good, it was really lonely, I didn't really have any friends and wasn't going to church because I just felt like I would be judged at church and um, so yeah, wasn't very good. Um, yeah, I just felt really hopeless, I just thought that, you know, that was my lot in life, that was how my life was going to be. So coming into Revolve School, I was just such a broken person, crying all the time, um, just really upset, just, uh, just such a mess. Um, <clears throat> I just had so many lies that were just so deep inside, so many things that I had told myself um, that actually weren't true, but I thought they were true, and so um, they were really stuck in there, really good, just, um, uh, I'd, 
I've been abused in every way and it just left me this skeleton of a person just pretty messed up, especially in the head. Um, I think one of the biggest lies that I've tackled is uh, just this lie that I would always tell myself that I wasn't worthy to be loved and so uh, that kind of translated to my relationship with God and I didn't think I was worthy of his love um, but that that has been totally shattered now thank goodness um, I know that I'm worthy of love, I know that I'm worthy to be loved, and I know that I'm loved completely, totally, unconditionally. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to try. I don't have to strive. I can just be me, and God loves me the way I am regardless of where I'm at with my relationship with him, it doesn't matter. He loves me completely, just like he loved me completely when I was in that bad relationship. He loved me then, he still loves me, and he will always love me. And that was probably the biggest lie that got shattered. Um, but there were a lot of a lot of lies that got shattered. Um, there were a lot of tears that were shed. Um, I think one of the the best ways to get all you can out of revival school or even out of life is just to be humble because when you get humble when you admit that you're actually not okay that that you're actually going through stuff that you want to work through it with God when you admit that when you just open yourself up to him then you can get free and I've experienced more freedom than I ever have in my whole life. Um, I look back on last year, on my whole life, and I think, what the heck? Like, I actually wasn't living. That wasn't living. That was, that was just getting by. That's not living. God doesn't want you to just be getting by. He wants you to live a life that is amazing and full of abundance and full of love and joy and happiness and laughter. He wants the best for us. And so that's something that I got out of revival school, just, just getting more freedom in my life. Because um, I was such a scaredy cat. I was fearful of everything. I was scared of... scared of... I don't know who I... Um, I was scared of heights, I was scared of the dark, I was scared of spiders, I was scared of everything. I was one of those people that get really scared really easily. Um, and fear, fear just comes when there's an absence of love. And so I would, yeah, I was scared of talking to people, I was scared of interacting with anyone. Um, and so just letting more of his love in and receiving his love has meant that the fear is leaving. I have done so much stuff that I never thought I would do. I'm just living now. I'm living life and I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not as afraid anymore. There's still some, some things that I need to work through, some, some fears that I haven't tackled yet, but... But for the most part, um, I wouldn't call myself a fearful person anymore. I don't, fear isn't my friend anymore. Um, I'm free. I guess when you put three months of your life aside to focus on God, if you really humble yourself and allow him to work in you, then you will experience God and you will experience his love because he is love. And that's what happened for me. I totally got transformed, totally everything everything got changed. I'm still I'm not perfect, but I'm on a journey now towards 
knowing more about God, knowing more about his love, knowing more about who he created me to be. The other thing that I got out of Bible school was just dreaming. Now I have dreams, I'm not hopeless anymore. I actually have things that I want to do with my life and I know more about the call that God has placed on my life and now when things when things get hard, when I feel like everything's falling, when when I feel like I'm back in that dark place, I just think about my dreams and what I want to do with my life and what God has called me to do and that helps me, that gives me hope to get out of that place and to just focus on God again. So that's been another really amazing thing that I got out of revival school.